Hi guys, it's Heather Andrews of Garden Thoughtfully and I wanted to share with you a holiday tradition that I hope you'll consider this season, perhaps for your home or for a friend's and family's home. I recently had the opportunity to attend the Longwood Garden Celebration last Christmas and as you were walking into the conservatory, you were greeted with hundreds of paper whites in bloom. A little boy standing beside me said, it sure smells like heaven in here and I agree. It is really a beautiful hallmark of the season and such a welcomed gift for friends and family. So I want to show you how easy it is to potentially grow these yourself or to give them away way as gifts. So a friend of mine gave me this beautiful vase. As you can see here, it's a bell-shaped vase and that encourages the roots of the bulb to grow down and the bulb is not really sitting in the water. The challenge of this, however, is that it was in a uh, bright window and unfortunately the greenery got too tall and we really only want it to get to about that height and it flopped over and it broke my flower off. Now I was able to cut it and put it into a vase and it's been blooming actually now for a few weeks, which is really nice, but I wanna teach you the trick that will keep your paper whites from getting a little too tall in their container. So whether you're gonna use a vase or you're gonna use a shallow dish with some pebbles, that's fine, but we only want the bottom of the bulb to be in contact with the water. And as it grows, it will start to drop roots. And as the greenery gets to the desired height, you want to change out 70% of the water with rubbing alcohol. That's going to restrict the greenery growth, but not the flowers. And you will have a perfectly formed flower that is the perfect height for your container. I hope that you will consider this as a gift for yourself or for a family or friend this holiday season. Garden thoughtfully. Take care.